where we're going to walk through how you can add bots and we'll get started. So the very first step is I'm going to assume that you've already installed Call of Duty 4 on your local computer. Um, and so if you have, if you open up your uh, Windows Explorer, if you go to C, Program Files, x86, Activision, you should have this directory right here. And so that means that you've installed the game successfully on your local machine. Um, and so that's step one. So I'm gonna assume everyone's already there, uh, but now the next step is to install COD4X. So the very first step is basically open up this website here. I'll share this Google Doc with you guys. You guys can follow this along. Um, but what you're gonna be doing is basically installing the COD4X client. So you're gonna download this file and it's gonna download a zip. And so you can unzip it however you'd like. Uh, and so I'm just gonna do this so we can see how it works. So. We're gonna extract it. And once you've extracted it, um, what you're gonna do is you can click on these readmes and you can see what um, they tell you to do. So we're literally just following along. Um, but here, you're going to copy this install file. And if you recall the location of your Call of Duty 4 uh, install, you're going to go to, again, C, Program Files, x86, Activision Call of Duty 4 here, and you're going to paste in uh, that directory that you just extracted. Um, and so just so we're clear, this is the directory, not the readme, but just that directory that's at the same level as the readme. Um, so we're going to put this at that place. So this is that file right here. And then once you've done that, you're going to open it up, and you're going to right-click the install command and hit run as administrator. So you might need to give it uh, permission, click yes. Um, and then once you've done that, uh, you should see it copy these files. If you don't see it copy the files, that could indicate you don't have the right permission. So again, make sure you right click run as admin because if you run this just normally, um, it'll give you like an access is denied thing. So that tripped me up when I was first doing this. Um, so do watch out for that and then once you've done that, you've successfully installed COD4X on your COD4 install, um, the next step is to download the mod that lets you have multiplayer bots. And so again, uh, I'll provide a link in the description, but uh, again, full credit, not to me, to the community and uh, for PezBot specifically, um, I have in the Google Doc, uh, the author who created it. But basically, same story, you download the zip, extract it. So we're just gonna click download, it's going to download. Now we're going to open it up in our file. So we have to extract it. And then once you've extracted it, uh, you can look at the readme to see how you're supposed to install it. So basically, you're just going to copy the entire folder. I'll leave it open so you guys can see it. But we copy this entire folder. And then again, we're going back to our COD4 install directory. And inside of it, you should have a directory called mods. And if you don't, then just right click new folder and call it mods just like this with a capital M. And then inside of here, you just paste in that PezBot file that you just downloaded. So uh, that's all you need to do on that front. And then once you've done these things, now if you run your Call of Duty for multiplayer uh, program on your Windows computer, we're going to click on mods. And also you know that you've successfully installed COD4X if you see it in the bottom right corner. So we're gonna go to mods and then you see PezBot. So we're going to launch PezBot. And now, once we're running PezBot on our COD4X, we're going to click Start New Server. And then this is where you can just spin up a uh, you know, basic thing. Um, I like Crossfire. <laughs> and you're just going to click on Start. And now you're going to jump into uh, the game like this. And I'm just going to pick a class here. And right now there's no bots, so what you need to do 
is you need to hit the tilde or backtick character on a keyboard like this. This pulls up the console in the game. Um, and if it's not showing up, you need to make sure you've enabled console so you can look up how to do that. But you basically do forward slash SVR PezBots uh, and you need your forward slash, so SVR, sorry, so forward slash SVR PezBots and then you type in how many bots you want. So if you wanted 11, you just type it in like that and hit enter. And now you can see that it's creating uh, 11 bots for us to have some fun with. So we can just run around. You can see the other 11 bots. And you can start doing stuff with them. But that is how you play the game. So that's it, everyone. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching and take it easy.